All right, you're still watching Ways. July 5th is observed as Drum Roll International Bikini Day. <laughs> <laughs> now, in many parts of the world, to commemorate its invention on this date in 1964, um, what fashion designer Louis Vuitton Red made a uh, Louis Red rather made as Comfortable swimwear became an important political statement to rally around. A pair of clothes became a symbol of women's emancipation, a declaration that a woman can wear whatever she chooses, and a statement of comfort and ease. People observe International Bikini Day to celebrate body positivity and comfort. So, for all those people out there who are comfortable wearing two-piece bodysuits, Happy Bikini Day. <laughs> but hey, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. God knew that if he had given me flat tummy, <laughs> six pack, six pack, six pack. No, but honestly, I used to say it too. <laughs> if I had flat tummy, six pack, I mean, that, you would see me cropped up every day. Every day. Uh, in fact, today I would have worn a bikini to the studio just to celebrate and commemorate with one wow. bikini day. <laughs> Ah, I didn't say that. <laughs> no, but, but hey, I, I don't know. Um, I've seen some very, very weird bikinis. Or more, mm. like you're wearing a tongue and you're saying that, ah, ah, auntie, help my spirit. <laughs> but you know, uh, if you put that, juxtapose that to people that do the nudist beach, you will not say they still wear clothes. But right. I don't know. Would you would you rock uh, a two-piece bodysuit? Bikini, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, I would. Okay, you're flat on me, gang. All you people. <laughs> Oppress us. Don't worry, we're okay. How about you, Jennifer? Would you rock a two piece suit? Definitely. The RB? <laughs> <laughs> and that's the, only, that's the only way I can swim. Yeah. Because every other thing just feels Oh, like you don't so wear the one clothing. piece suit? Uh, I do, but sometimes it's, it's not very easy finding my size mm. when it comes. Because of the get, length. Yeah, because of the length. Yeah. So I buy online. So by the time it comes, it's very short. So so I, don't even, I don't even bother or even yeah. stress. In getting them, so I just go straight to like um no more two piece, mm. which is easier. I actually, wear two piece. So if you like, look at my tummy. And it's actually body positivity. Like yeah, it's you more can comfortable. Actually, like you can you can swap it. How do you mean? Like you can swap in between. Like it's just two piece, yeah. so you can swap the top with the bottom and the bottom with the top. No, oh. with like a different set. Yeah, with a. With a oh different yeah, so you yeah. now have like, like different looks. Yeah. Like Once you want like it, you, black, you just have and for all you beach goers. NJ can go. She's going to be this weekend. I know. I'm sure. <laughs> wow. NJ, they go beach. NJ, carry me. I don't. I don't. I don't like how you attack me. <laughs> <laughs> she just. It, she would. And she will never post the picture. Guess what? It's God that used to catch her. It is the people that will go with her. No, I'm not going to say on somebody else's state. I said. So you went for me. <laughs> yeah, but I like. I like when people actually love <laughs> and they like their life, right? Oh, no, so. Water is life, and for for me, I. I do love, <laughs> I love the beach and I love water. So, yeah, going to the beach is one of those things that does excite me. It's mm. quite interesting. It's mm. just, it's, you're just at peace. It's, um, it, sometimes you can't explain it, but it's just the same way some people, you see them on bikes and they're going at maybe 200 kilometers an hour and they can feel the breeze. It's that interesting and exciting, I guess. <laughs> you just love it, you love it. Yeah, I actually love the water. Yeah. I, I wear bikinis, don't worry, don't mind me. We will rock the belly like that. If you don't like it, you can win. All right, so what do you find for us in the news, Jennifer? Okay, um, so there's, there's this news going around in Enugu. Um, it says, panic as unknown gunmen reportedly enforce sit-at-home order in Enugu. Um, mm. It said that the gunmen who had had their faces covered with masks were reported to have operated in a Siena vehicle as well as tricycles, which is um, Kekenapep. And then many parents whose children were already in school were seen in panic mode. They said that they had shot sporadically at um, new market axes of the state, um, Axisan, MNA, New Haven, Abakpa, Abani Road, and Noah's. So now everyone is just indoor and then just covering themselves for their lives and stuff because like, their safety is at, um, is at risk right now. And then I, I don't think nobody knows anything yet. They can't see their faces. Their faces are covered. They are shooting and then threatening people. I think there's been serious attempt by the state government, right, mm. to end this sit-at-home order. 
and the pushback has really been strong also from the unknown gunmen in Enugu. Mm. Uh, because, you know, when the governor came in, he, you know, he wanted to, like, end it. Uh, yeah. Let's end this sit-at-home order. But, you know, this sit-at-home thing, I keep wondering, who is it affecting the most, right? Because Igbos that I know, I mean, and I, I give it to them. I always say that I wish I was an Igbo girl. By now, I would have been a billionaire because they are so industrious, very, very business-minded people, right? So for you to then, like, force them to sit, you know, on a Monday morning, right? You know, it's almost like ghost town when you mm. go to Enugu on a Monday, right? You can't even go out. You can't do nothing, yeah. you know. So for you to sit down, and this has been lingering for a long time, I think maybe the state government should approach it from a point of seeing what it is that you are losing. I suppose trying to just, you know, fight back. You know, let's let's sit down. Or let's dialogue. You know, between X, Y, come with data, come with facts, right? Between X, Y, Z time when you started this sit at home order, how much? Let every single business person in that state, you know, let them come with the numbers and what they think projections that they would have lost mm. in terms of revenue. I don't think any bowman likes to lose money. You know, so maybe if they approach it from that angle, and then, then sit and understand what these people really, truly want. Because now it's getting really tiring, yeah. you know, and the, the unnecessary killings and, you know, burning of properties or destruction of properties is not necessary, right? So it's almost like, you know, they've lost the real reason that they started that cause in the first place. So let's just come back to the drawing table mm -hmm. and, you know, analyze it. But hey, what do I know? <laughs> Enjoy your story. So, um... A white substance that, that has sparked up, you know, sparked up an emergency evacuation at the White House on Sunday night, July 2nd. Um, and recently has been discovered that that was cocaine after it had been tested. So the powder was found in a publicly accessible area of the uh, West Wing on Sunday, Sunday evening. And it prompted a quick evacuation from the uh, complex. So um, at the time this happened, uh, President Joe Biden was not uh, present because he had gone uh, for a weekend retreat at Camp David. So, you know, Secret Service uh, responsible for the security um, responded quickly with fire service and emergency service uh, personnel. And they conducted the initial tests on the material and they found that it was cocaine. Now, authorities are trying to determine how uh, the substance got into the White House after a Secret Service agent had found the powder during a routine sweep of the premises. So um, the story behind it, the background story is that uh, Joe Biden's first son, Hunter uh, Biden, uh, who is uh, 53, was who has had a prior addiction to cocaine, was on the premises on that said Friday before he left and joined uh, Joe Biden and the family at Camp David. So, uh, you know, the rumors are that, you know, this is linked to the first son, um, and, but also, you know, because he had been spending time at the White House. And, there's, and another rumor is going around saying that um, the reason for this is because he's avoiding being served by his, um, the mother of his love child. So it's a it's a it's a funny one, you know. So I'm I'm not sure what how that is going to pan out because now it's this was found at the West Wing and that also the West Wing also houses the Oval Office. So the rumors are is who is it? Who's who's is who it? Get yeah. Who gets them? Who is it? And it's speaking and English. And for now, now who gets them? <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> And yeah, and that's the you know, that's the current rumor. And they're both together, and they were both on site and off site around the same time. So it's is, well. Is it for daddy is it, or is it for Peking? Or is it for <laughs> is it for Kazawa? Is it for? Yeah, <laughs> they should be able to pick up um, um, fingerprints on on the wrap. I'm sure if they, but I I trust. If I understand and if I'm fully knowledgeable in the service of the Secret Service, by now they would have some information yeah, and information. They, they just want, I, they I just want, want to want assume to that it. by now they know. But unfortunately, the, this news doesn't stay hidden, even from even in within the White House. You so, think it will come out? Well, 
at some point, I, I feel <laughs> like it will come out either as a rumor, but um, all the fingers are at the moment are currently pointing at the first son. But hey, like you never Daddy know. Daddy was around. Yeah. Okay. You know, this issue around addiction is actually a big deal. Mm. And if you understand the, especially this particular drug that you've mentioned, cocaine, it's not particularly a cheap drug. And, you know, the number of people that are hooked on that thing is alarming. You know, you people are shouting, shouting, end drug abuse. How do you want to end it? Because there is major funding that is happening in that happening, sector. Yeah. So there's a lot of money that is being made. And it's not my money that I suffer to make, that I go and used to go and buy cocaine to say I want to take cocaine. Do you understand? So um, truly, um, if we really must solve the problem around addiction or drug use or abuse, um, the people that are like affluential, the people that have a lot of dis um, disposable income, right? Yeah. Those are the people we should start from. They should really start to, to question that, do you truly want this thing to end? Because honestly speaking, it's a big issue. Mm -hmm. It's a big issue. All right, so I, I just wanted to touch base with Jamp. Let's so say yesterday, I don't shout way way. <laughs> so I just wanted to touch base with Jamp. Um, Finally, I've been able to see what the sample of um, the results looks, what it looks like, right? The current um, 2023 result, and I think it looks something around this. Even though this particular slip says um, 2020, right? But this is what it looks like, because now I have my son's results, um, the, the soft copy, exactly um, something like this. So... Um, uh, just to collaborate Jam's uh, PRO, the public relations officer's um, statement that said that the slip that Mesoma um, had was an old slip. But this says 2020, right? If you say that the results, this is supposed to be the style, the format for 2023, I'm now wondering, okay, but you know what, can you pull up that again? Pull that back up because I have my son's result. Okay, I can see. I'm staring at my own. Sorry, I can't show you my son's result. Okay, so there's a, there's a slight variation. I think this is 2020. From this result, you can see that there is a barcode at the end okay. of the... But it's yeah, this, this doesn't have, have this doesn't have a barcode. So if they can look at my camera, um, you would see from what I'm trying to show you here, there is a barcode here. If you can see that, you know that's the result. Yeah. So this is the current jam score result. So when they say that, um, when they say that um, there's what Mesoma has is uh, an outdated result. It is an outdated result. So but what what do we need to do? Do you understand? Um, like what I said yesterday, is to go back to ask, how was she able to print it out? Because now when my son went to the CBT center today mm. to print this result out, this was what came out. And it's 2023 there. There's a barcode at the end of the, the result. So it's quite different from what we just projected mm. on the screen. So, um, but I'm still going to ask Jam the question because it's really not my, it's not Mesoma's problem that I'm here, it's my headache right now. That the fact that it's so, the system is so porous that people can just print out anything. anything yeah. Yes, those are the things we should question. So, and again, you as a body, as Jam, what kind of sensitization did you do? How many media houses did you go to do like radio, radio jingles? You know the way we used to do sensitization in those days, right? Go on media, major media uh, tours, go on radio, go on TV. Talk about it. Show the sample. You know, the way I've just done it now. If you get your result, oh, you speak in pidgin. You go see barcode for here. You go see this. You go, you know, so all of these things are what they should have sensitized people on. Yeah. You didn't sensitize anybody. So you understand? So that's why anybody can wake up and say they want to go and forge a result. So I will still put the, the bulk back on your table as jam. So if you really want to solve this problem, you have to fix your system. I stand by that. On that note, to take a break, I want to discuss this... Um, what do you call them? You know what we're discussing. <laughs> <laughs> Certificate of what? <laughs> ownership. 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 Proof of ownership. Stay with us. We'll be right back.